so there is the African dimension, the, there is the European strand, and there is also, more recently, the Asiatic strand. And who in this room will want to deny that the Indian presence in this country has been very important for the development of Barbados. Black people in villages in the 1960s when I was growing up, and certainly the 1950s before me, relied very heavily on that Indian presence, which was for the most part a commercial presence. Now in other parts of the Caribbean, Indians are very much involved in rural agriculture and that kind of thing, certainly in Guyana and Trinidad and Tobago. But here in Barbados, that presence has been a commercial presence. And there are many families in the communities of Barbados that will not hesitate to tell you that they were able to get uniforms for their children or to get uh, things for the household at Christmas by that interaction uh, with the Indian presence here in Barbados. There's a book from Bengal to Bridgetown written by Sabir Nakuda to which I wrote the foreword and I, I had to make that observation. In fact, I, sent a, I, I presented a copy to the present Prime Minister of India for his edification and to let him know that there is a strong link between India and Barbados. So confronted with, and of course other strands are being added, uh, we now see an increasing presence of Chinese here in Barbados. That is a fact of which we have to take sympathetic Con uh, cognizance as well. Confronted with all of this, when you come to define Barbadian culture, to look at its lineaments, to look at how uh, it, is, it is made up, can you afford to just accentuate the African dimension of the culture to the exclusion of, of the others, or can you afford to accentuate which has been the case, I can tell you, for a good part of Barbadian history, the European part of the culture to the exclusion of all others, or more recently, could you can you afford to accentuate the Asian part of the culture to the exclusion of all others? I say no, that we have to accord all the strands of our culture uh, due reverence because they have all, in their own separate ways, contributed to the development of Barbados.